Hello boys and girls and welcome along to Cairn Hill Cabin in County Cabin in Ireland and uh, my name is Margaret McKenna. Now um, today I'm doing it on a Monday for a change um, but I will be doing it probably next back to normal times next week. So uh, the other day I was asked would I do a lion cub and I came across this really nice picture on the internet of a daddy lion and a baby lion, a little lion cub, and I thought this would be a lovely picture to draw. So, um, okay, so we, we start straight away, and the first thing I want to do is get your pencil, and as always I will say, don't hold your pencil too tight, hold it nice and loose in your hand like that. If you hold it too tight, you'll get a line that's very heavy, and some of these lines will actually, separate from lines, we'll, the lines, not the lions, will actually rub out um, because we won't need them later on. So keep your keep your hand, your light not, line nice and light. So hold it nice and loose in your hands. So you can practice doing that with your pencil for a minute just to loosen up your hand. Always a good idea. Okay. So what we start with, we're going to start with the shape on the daddy's head. Okay. So I'm going to do it really dark so you can see it. But you remember to do it a bit lighter than mine. We can go over darker the ones we need later on. Okay. Okay. So start off. So we're going to come down with a line like this here. We're going to do a big kind of a shape. It's kind of a bit like a a rectangle but it kind of goes a little wider up here and then it comes around like that so we can get that kind of a shape on the page okay so it's kind of like a, a rectangle but a little wider on this side and then it's just got a it's, it's kind of a roundy curve here and down about here just a little bit down we're going to put a triangle shape here like this and it's going to be his eye shape later on now you can do that a bit darker you can do that that that's kind of shape, one you can do quite dark okay and we're going to put a little triangle here for his nose because they kind of have a triangular kind of shaped nose just in the corner okay see like that and then we're going to put a little line down for the bottom of that there just like a little line if you can see it a little line and it's between lines and lines i don't know what i'm saying see underneath the nose like that i'm going to put a little bit to the side here i'll show this up close now in a minute and a bit like this so it's kind of got a kind of bit of a smiley face on him because he's nice and happy okay now we're going to come up here and do a little bit of his ear so his ear is just like it's only you see a little bit of this it's kind of like a, it's a bit like a roundy bit it's like as if you're looking at a half circle a bit of a circle there a half circle and we're going to do a very light line to start with with this okay because we want we're going to make it kind of nice and jackety later on like hair but we'll just do it i'll do it dark so don't you See like that kind of a shape and that's going to be his hair but we'll make it kind of more jaggedy later on but you do it nice and light so you know where it is okay and the same down here again we'll put it down like that and this you can make it nice and light i'm making it dark so you can see it and then we'll drag that line go wee like that just up like that kind of this is kind of for his that's his big mane we'll turn that into a mane later on when we need to when we paint it okay we'll rub it down a little bit and then we have his leg. Well, you don't really see his leg because that's kind of his leg is out in front, like his paw is out in front. So you see a bit of it coming across here from his body. Okay. Now we're going to draw the little um, cub. And don't forget, we can. Um, you can look back at this at any time. Oh, another thing. Um, if you have any suggestions, I'll put them in the tub for later on. Please let me know if you can put them up there. I might see it in before the class. If there's any suggestions, if not, I'll see them later on. I'll put it in the tub then. Okay. Um, this suggestion came from one that I saw later on, actually. And I put it in, and it's the one that came out then the last um the last lesson. Okay, so we're going to do a little shape here from it's kind of like a, a circle, but we can't do the whole circle. It's a little flatty bit on the top, and we can't do the whole lot because of course he's going behind his daddy. So it's kind of like a he's a little bit more legs shown here, but that doesn't matter. Okay. And now we're going to come in down here in the middle. We're going to put a little triangle, but it's kind of like a little dip like that. I'll show you now up close. It's like a little a little a crescent see like that a little shape like that for his nose now come down his face a bit there and do it okay in the middle of the sort of crossways the middle okay and we're going to do exactly like we did the daddy we're going to put a little, little line underneath like that and a little little line like that there okay and we can do a tiny if we draw a little very light draw a little line up here and here from each side of his nose. I didn't put it in on this one, actually. I meant to put it in that one because I had it in the original one. Like that. See, like that and like that. And then we put his little eyes. Now we put, they're kind of like roundy triangles, if that makes sense. 
you only see a bit of this one do you see so it's like a flat long triangle but it's kind of roundy on top so it's not pointy like that shape and the same it kind of goes in behind the daddy's face there and then we have the ear so he's got a big nice big fat ear like that okay don't worry about the middle of the eyes yet we'll do that later on and then his body just comes out like that and line like that kind of bends it's like a wiggly line a bit because he's got his little shoulder there you see as well you see and in the middle over here we're going to put like just a y shape and it's just the divide of his legs there like that just the divide between the two legs okay and that's all our drawing done for now we can go over the lines later on i'll show you put the little squiggly bits in later on so next step is i put i just got a blue sky so i just got a light i'm using poster paints these kind of paints here you can use um acrylic so you can use crayons you can use whatever you want to paint or withdraw with so i'm just going to come in with a blue so i say if you come you want to look back at this later on and i'll put up on youtube as well for people to to, to um to have a to look at as well if they have if they're not on facebook okay so we're going to just color in the background like that so for anyone who's just joined we started with this shape here and then we put in the triangle for the eye and the triangle for the nose and little line coming down and across like that and then we put this and this shape and then we put a line across like that for his, for his leg and then we put the circular shape for the little um, line baby line and then we put a little funny little shape for his nose it's just like a little like a crescent moon upside down almost shape and then we did the little line from the middle and the two lines here and the eyes are kind of like triangles that are squashed kind of triangles so okay so we're going to go down here it's a quite a simple little once you get you know it's not they're not too hard the shapes at least because um we we'll keep your lines nice and light because if you keep them light and um, it means we can go to rub out some of the lines later on or we can to go over them heavy in paint you don't really need to actually so i'm going to keep mine and just kind of go use the paint a bit heavier which is another way of doing it so i'm going to do these ones here first get the get the color in here like that okay now i might just give this part here because i'm going to put more white down here so i'm going to see the bottom of his chin where i have it very pointy i'm just going to rub that down a little bit now remember if you're doing your lines nice and light it'd be very easy for you to rub now you only want to barely see them because we're going to have i want to kind of get them nice and scraggy here like that and they're going to be in lighter color so you won't be i don't want to have like a heavy dark, dark line here so you just about see it there now okay now we're going to come back and paint the line so the line basically was just um, a brownie color like that and a white mixed together so a brown and a white mixed together and we get so good good lot of white in it so we get a nice lightish color so we get a nice light color okay now maybe put a bit more white in them so it's brown and white together get a nice sandy color doesn't matter if we go and we get we're going to just leave that space here see that space under the chin just going to leave that there for a minute because we put a bit more light in that one so we're going to go up here around here this little ear or big ear and then we're going to go down here as well it's a very regal looking line i think I like that. I think it was a lovely picture when I saw it on the on the internet. So that's really, you know. So you just have a little cuddle there, the little um, Kobe. So cute looking. So he is. Okay. So we're going to add a little more white now onto his chin. So we're going to put it. It's kind of you have a little bit of the just a little bit of white. So it's lighter than you had. It's just under there like that. So it's just a little bit lighter than the top part of his face. Okay. Now. For his for his mane, all I do is just use brown, just plain brown. There's nothing else in it. So um, I'm just going to come in. Now, I'll tell you what is interesting about this bit is watch how I um what what what's sorry, Terry, so what fruit did you take this time? What? Fruit? Um okay. Anyway, I'll go to get the, the brown down here like this. Like that. And watch it in little streaks see the way i'm doing it watch this look see little streaks so it's all little little see 
and you bring it's like you're brushing his hair imagine you're brushing the lion's hair it's a bit like that and what way would you brush his hair if you were brushing hair what way would you use your hand so it's quite like that with this with the with this um paintbrush and you're brushing it down like that because remember he's got a lovely mane like that and we'll do the edge of that in a minute we're just going to go to that edge in a minute because we'll come back and paint him then we we'll finish off this edge here so we're just going to get this bit in here like this down to there like that okay see now we're going to do a bit on the top so i put a little bit of yellow up here actually I put a little bit tiny bit of yellow into my into my red onto my brown i mean sorry no red in the picture and I'm going to, now, look at this. See the way I'm doing it like that? So it's kind of like spiky, look. You go around his ear like that. Look. See? Now, see how it's spiky, look? Speak up, down, up, down like that. Now, okay. And now we're going to do this little fellow. We'll come back and we'll do the rest on him in a minute. So we're going to go and do him. So for him, what I did was I used the white again and my brown. And I added a little bit of yellow. But I used a lot more white. So it's quite a nice light kind of a, a light yellowy brown color. It's sort of like a sandy kind of a color. Almost a sandy color. Oh, the banana dragon. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. We used banana shapes the last time. Um, no, there's no banana shapes. There's no fruit uh, shapes. I don't think there's any fruits. There's an apple shape, I suppose. It's like a head of the. It's kind of got a roundy head, so it's kind of an apple shape. The dragon was quite a banana kind of colour. Yeah, shaped all right. He was surely. Yeah. Um. Okay. So here we are with the yellow, the white, and the brown. No, Tammy is saying the same. No to bananas today. No, we're not having any bananas. No fruit. Just plain. Um. Well, except he could be an apple shape. I say his head. Okay. So yellow and brown and white here we go and we're going to just put that in here i'm a bit slow today that's what's wrong with me now the chin i'm leaving white again okay so keep the keep the chin white for now in fact you can leave it white you don't have to put anything on the chin we'll keep it nice and white don't even need white paint on it and we'll just color the rest of his little face in here like that all the way like that around his eyes in his ears and like that like that okay now i'm going to come back and i'm going to put um a little bit of his, his eyes the eyes they've got very kind of um kind of what well, the amber kind of colored eyes which kind of is a kind of brownie yellowy kind of shade so without any white this time just your brown and your yellow together so i'm gonna it kind of gives it almost a brownie gold color we're going to put it in his eye here like that look just for coloring that eye like that and we'll color in his little eyes as well in the same like that look see now we're going to just put a little bit of our black on his, on his nose like that and don't forget now you can look back at these anytime i said put them up on youtube as well so if anybody is on youtube it doesn't be get on facebook you can let them know and um, then his little nose as well we're going to we're going to do now what i want to do next is i'm going to we let we should let that dry a bit more but i'm going to try and do it with my pencil anyway oh yeah one little bit first they have kind of they don't have stripes on them, but they do have kind of dotty stripes on their babies and um, the the lion cup so i'm going to get a little bit of brown little bit brownie yellow color there i'm just going to put a little, few little dotty stripes down his face like that see like that down on his forehead see you can see it there as well so they don't have they don't have a two um they don't really have stripes but they just have kind of little markings when they're little when they're quite young now i'm going to get my black marker or black pencil frame and um, you could use a black marker uh would be good as well but you might have to let it dry a little more I'm just going to give this a quick pairing and we're basically going to go around it. Now, the reason I want to really show you how to do them today, sometimes just, we're just going around them, but I was I want to get to get that feeling of the fur kind of feeling. So we'll just do a line around him like that. You may have to let this dry for yourself if you find it's too wet. That's grand. Just let it dry, and you can. But I'll show you anyway. And watch his little face. Watch if you can see here. I'm going to actually maybe if I can do this a little closer to the camera. It'll only be a bit hard doing it at an angle, but I'll try it anyway. We're going to come down like. 
see i'm going to go over his mouth like that and go over his little chin look and you go little small little ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs like that look see and then in his ear you can do leave that one nice and straight around there but you can do a little few raggedy bits on this side here and a few little bits in the middle of his ear now his eye as well you can go over the eyes so you go over the eye like that and you put a little black bit in the middle but we can do it like a half circle leave a little leave a little light bit in the top see so you leave a little a little a little um a little bit where you can actually just see the orange coming through and then we're going to do the same on this and we'll just give it a little bit of it and now we can go over this here same here oh yeah sorry before we come back to this bit we'll just come back to our color for a second and i'm just going to get a bit of our yellowy brown again and i'm just going to dot a few bits through it like that so it just gives it a nice kind of furry feeling on his body and you can put a few little white bits too as well like that like going through like, just like that see so he's got a nice little furry little feel on him it's amazing just little little flicky bits like that just baby bits not too much and it just makes all that difference really it just makes it nice and furry feeling now get paint on top of me now okay so we're going to go around back again so the same here i'm going to scrag this along the side i'll just do a little bit and i'll show you them it just gives it that nice furry bit like that and we'll just do this line straight across the body this line because it, this is kind of it's, it's kind of smoother hair on his legs just there on the on the on the lion so you can see it like that look see the scraggy bit along the side where we've just kind of got in it a little now the same goes with the big line very much so but first of all we'll make this line not too scraggy just a little bit like a rough line more than a, it's not a scraggy line it's kind of like a rough line going along okay now watch his eye actually yes the eye is a good bit because we've got the triangle bit like that okay Okay, right and now in this corner here i'm going to put a bit of a black bit here like that yeah like that and then we're going to put the half circle kind of bit like that with a little bit we can still see the a bit of the orange coming through like that okay now we're going to come down to the bottom where the, the mouth is and we'll just make this line nice and thick and a little bit wider here look a little bit wider at the bottom part there and then we're going to come down and we're going to scrag this look i call it scragging like that look just up the bottom part of his chin so it makes it look nice and hairy then do you see that and if we come up to the top of the head then we can do the same we can do that kind of a feeling across the top look and we can do a few bits in here and this is where you can go along this side and do exactly the same look scraggy bits like that look all the way down and we can do big nice big ones here look so we can do big one right not like the little fella one on the little fella the way i'm doing it in and out in and out in and out all the way down there look all the way up here and this is you can do this with black marker black answer crane with it dries and then lots of you can do lots of little lines going down through here like that look and give it that lovely feeling of um that is, he's got a mane on him, big long hairs on him. And watch the direction I'm going. Make sure it's like as if you're brushing his hair coming down and it comes down like that, look. And I can go up and down a bit too. And now read the last little bit really is I put little tiny ticks around his face because I think it gives it a nice kind of a fur feeling. These are really small little lines. Now watch this. So you put first of all we do the one from the nose up to the corner of his eye but they're not a big lot of them look it's just little don't make them too too many of them just like that you see and we put a few of them in around the corner of the eye because it makes it look like he's kind of got his, his, his eye is inside in the head kind of in the eye socket it's called the eye socket that's what it's called and we can put a few up here and a few here like that it makes it look his eyes deep in his head like he's looking at you kind of thing and we're going to put a few here like that so we're just putting little tiny baby lines on that and you can use a pencil crane you can use a marker and you can let it dry a bit more because mine is yours might be a bit too wet yet mine is a bit wet in pieces but i'm just giving it a go anyway because i want to show you what to do 
So, um, and that's, oh yeah, we've got a little bit of line here, a little line here, you can put a shadow in there if you want. Um, and I think, we can, I think that's it, yeah, that we have the little line here and the little ends up there as well. And it's say just down here. Okay, so, so that's it really. That's, uh, if anyone has any more suggestions, please, please, please let me know. That'd be brilliant. Um, and I'm going to pick out the next one for next week. If you don't, I say, if I don't see any here at the moment, um, yeah, that's true. Terry's just, my brother's in Australia and he's looking in and he's just commenting how Irish people say lion and line almost the same. Exactly, that is true. That's why I have to be careful uh, not, to, um, not to make it sound like I was saying lion when I meant line. Okay, so we're going to pick out the next one. And I have a clue what's in here, but if you have any suggestions, please let me know because I'm always looking uh, to draw what you want to draw. Here we go. I don't have a clue what this is going to be. Okay, here we go. And we're going to do a ginger cat next time. Okay, that's all. So we've gone from a lion cub, big cat, to a little cat. So maybe a little ginger cat playing with a ball of twine would be quite nice or something like that. That would be a lovely picture. So um, that would be on this week and it'll be Friday because um, I can't do it Thursday. And um, so it'll be Friday if that's okay. And I'm going to do two days in a row, then Friday and Saturday. So we'll get back into our normal routine after that. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, so um, thanks very much for coming along and joining in. And um, you can join the children's art group page um, if you want. And please share this video um, because um, I want it to be nice for kids to, anywhere to uh, have a chance to do them. All right. Thanks a million. And see you then. Bye bye.